So you're looking to set up your home studio and you just can't decide on the right microphone and headphones? Well, allow me to help you out there. If you had the budget to splurge on just one item in your home studio, it should be your microphone. And if it's two items, microphone and headphones or studio monitors, but let's stick with headphones for now. I'll explain why later. Your microphone captures your audio source for you to tweak and mangle to your heart's content. You want this to be captured in the highest quality possible. Now, in a pro studio, there are many parts of the signal chain that makes the sound great. Nice preamps and um, compressors, they, they really add character to your sound. But the microphone makes the single biggest difference. That's where you should spend your money. So we've covered the source. Now let's go to the output. There's no point in having a great mic if you can't hear how great it sounds. So it makes sense in investing in the best headphones you can afford. Now the reason I'm suggesting headphones over studio monitors is because with studio monitors, you need to acoustically treat your room. This costs money and takes some trial and error. Poorly treated room will amplify and cancel out certain frequencies, resulting in uneven frequency response from your monitors. This means that what you're hearing is inaccurate and you will not be able to make the right mix decisions while mixing. This is why sometimes your mix sounds great at home, but when you take it into your car, it just sounds way off. And then there's also the issue of noise. Now, headphones are less affected by room acoustics. They don't bother your neighbors and you can take them with you so you have the same sound wherever you want to work on your music. And most importantly, the cost. 1,000 ringgit worth of headphones is going to outperform 1,000 ringgit worth of studio monitors, hands down. All right, so let's get to it. I have with me the Austrian Audio OC818. Now this by no means is a budget mic, but it could well be the last mic you will ever need. So a little bit of background. This mic is made and designed by former AKG engineers in Vienna, Austria. The AKG production facility was recently closed and a lot of former employees went on to start or join new companies. Austrian Audio is one of them. So this mic is based off the classic AKG C414. It's a dual capsule condenser with multiple polar patterns, analog, low cut and pad switches. This mic can handle up to 148 dB SPL of sound level or loudness, which means you can place it virtually anywhere without it getting distorted. Now for context, a typical nightclub is around 110, 120 dB SPL and at 140 dB SPL, that's the threshold of pain where you start damaging your ears. So drum sets, guitar cabinets, live performances, no problem for this mic. Sound wise, I would describe it as full, clear, very detailed. It has a mid bump around 5 to 6 kilohertz, so it's very present, especially on vocals and the highs, very detailed never harsh. Most budget condenser mics tend to be harsh and sibilant on the high end. It doesn't handle high SPL very well. They get the job done and with some post-processing, you can get some very decent results. But as you improve, you will outgrow those mics. Now, this mic will stay in your mic collection for years to come. They really do sound fantastic. Great on vocals, voiceovers, acoustic guitars, um, guitar cabinet, drums, or as, as a room mic. My favorite sound quality of this mic is the mid-range, especially with vocals. Having a mic with really nice mids is what really helps your track sit well in the mix and, and makes your production sound really polished. In most cases, a little bit of EQ, compression, and you're done. I would put this on par with classic workhorse vocal mics, VO mics, really. No brainer. But if all that is not enough, we go to the additional features of this mic that classic mics don't have. This mic comes with an optional Bluetooth dongle, which when paired with your phone via the free Polar Pilot app, allows you to control the polar pattern, low cut and pad settings remotely. This can be useful in a live setting like a podcast where you have a guest joining the main speaker, you tap on the app and the mic switches to figure eight, capturing the front and back at the same time. Or as a room mic where you can try out different polar patterns where while the band is playing and um, you wanna try the find the sound that best suits you. It's a fantastic feature, but just note that it takes a moment for the app to send the signal to the mic. It's it's not instantaneous. Now, what really sets this mic apart? It's its ability to record both capsules separately. There's a mini XLR cable included and you can plug that to the back of your mic and into a second input on your interface. Now download the free Polar Designer plugin, slap it on your track and now you can adjust the Polar pattern after recording. You can also choose different Polar patterns for up to five separate frequency bands. So for example, you can record a kick drum um, with the mic facing it. You have the low set to a tight cardioid pattern so it's a bit more focused. Have the mid range in maybe a figure eight getting a blend of the direct sound and some room sound and have the highs in omni so you have some air and 
ambience. Each band also has a gain control so you can, um, in a way, EQ your track right on the plugin. Uh, check out the full review by my friend Dave from Music Bliss right here. I also want to mention two additional free plugins from Austrian Audio, the Stereo Creator and MB Creator. Now, Stereo Creator allows you to record and manipulate stereo recordings with one or two OC818s, depending on your settings. This can give you a beautiful uh, stereo imaging or can be used for like um, ASMR type applications. MB Creator allows you to create 360 audio or ambisonic venturing into the VR and AR space. Now, these are both much more advanced applications, but the point here is that this mic has the potential to grow with you as you improve your skills and allows you the option of exploring and learning new techniques now and in the future. Now, considering the sound quality and the tech that comes with it really makes this mic well worth the price. However, if all you want is a straight up condenser that sounds great uh, without all the bells and whistles, there's also the OC18, which is a single diaphragm cardioid only mic and it's available for much, much less. Now moving on to the headphones, I have here the X55 and X65. X55 is a close back over ear headphones. It provides excellent isolation, reducing spill from the headphones into the microphone, making it great for tracking. The X65 is an open back headphone, so it doesn't have much isolation, but it provides a much cleaner sound stage. Now, sound wise, headphones are very subjective. You can check out the review here by my friend Jeremiah from Music Bliss right down here. But I'd like to talk more about the function of these headphones and how it fits into your workflow. Both these models offer excellent sound stage, which means you're going to be able to hear every detail across your left and right channels. X55 has smooth lows and highs and a slightly scooped mid-range. This makes for very comfortable listening. Now, paired with the isolation, these are great for tracking. The X65, due to its open back design, offers slightly deeper bass and much more detailed soundstage. It also has a much more forward sounding mids. This is a great pair of mixing headphones. It's also worth mentioning that due to the level of detail and clarity, you may or may not like these for casual listening. But I don't think that was the intention with these models. They are made for extreme detail and to help you with making the right decisions in your music production. So, um, let's hear these in action. I I have my good friend Brendan De Cruz, who was kind enough to drop by the studio and perform a song for us. So what I've done is I've set up a single OC818 in dual cardioid pattern, one facing up towards Brendan and the other facing his guitar top down. I'm using the dual outputs each into its own channel and I'm hoping to get a nice natural tone with um, good separation. Brendan is monitoring with the X55 headphones. Let's get to it. Let it go on through my head Messing my mind Now can't see how I want you more How do I keep you up? How do I let this go? And there you have it. I really love the overall tone and separation and um, even without adding processing. If you're interested in purchasing these items, you can click in the link on the description and get it from Music Bliss. Be sure to use the coupon code PULSE2OFF to get a 2% discount on your purchase. I hope you found this video informational and helpful. Thank you and happy producing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah.